Alright guys, I have something really cool to show you that kind of helps solve a problem that I've had, but more so a just for an annoyance that we sometimes see when we're tying flies. So what you're looking at here is actually a crazy looking contraption, I understand, but it's by a cool dude by the name of Ramil, or Rommel, um, and his company is YR3D. Basically, he 3D prints tons of fly fishing stuff, and one of the things that he actually does is he created a dubbing brush creator uh, that's kind of unique. It comes with, with two lengths of plank. This is the shorter one, just for our demonstration today. But here I have, you know, a typical situation where I want to throw, hypothetically, some dubbing, okay? And I have a dubbing spinner or, or you know, uh, a loop creator. And basically, here's how, here's how it works. So I take my, my thread and I run it down the groove channel here of the device. Now, this whole thing spins out of the way and everything. And what, I, what, what, what I'll do is I'll give myself a little bit of slack down here. And then I'll start taking some dubbing. And we'll just use, I don't know, this. Kind of like gold sally or you know, gold stonefly material. And I just place it along the board. Pull a little bit out, put it on the board. A little bit out, put it on the board. A little bit out, put it on the board. Okay, I've got the length that I want. Now, I'm not having to touch, hold, or do anything. I can manipulate the dubbing with both hands. Uh, I could add wax if I wanted to, whatever. And everything's really nicely laid out. I then take my loop creator. I create a loop down here. Give myself some extra material, or give myself some extra thread. And then I, I run down that channel again. And now I just create a couple loops, pull myself away. I like to go in front of and behind. Then, still free hands, I'll take my spinner, I'll spin, I'll let it spin, I'll let it create that dubbing loop and now after I spun it a bunch I will lift it up and it's created there and if you'd so like to you can spin it out of the way all right and you can keep spinning if you want now I, I didn't do the full board but there you go now I've got this awesome brushable loop and I like to lock my Let's do this. We'll actually go ahead and, and put some on, just to show that it's no tomfoolery. Okay, look at that. Goes on nicely, no problems, okay? But I thought this was a really cool device that is wickedly dirt cheap, along with everything he 3D prints. He 3D prints fly reels. He 3D prints uh, different things and devices to help us, uh, you know, Instead of using a stripping basket, he is stripping uh, weight belt clips. It's a really cool website with a guy that likes to think outside the box. He's not paying me to say any of this. He did send this for me to take a look at, but I am actually fairly impressed. He has one for normal size flies, like up to a size maybe one or two nymph or, or bait fish. And then he also makes longer ones, and he, it usually comes in the pack for things like pike flies. So really cool concept. Thinking outside the box, fly reels do the same thing. They have drag, but there's he has some with magnets, he has some with uh, like click pole, but he also has some that are um, actually pressure uh, pressure sensitive, like twist knob stuff. It's super cool. Give it a look. Link will be in the description below. I have no affiliate link or whatever, but if you do find this cool, let them know that I sent you. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out awesome merch link below to showcase your fly fishing passion. And check out the other videos in the other playlists. But until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines.
around.